two trains, one from H to P and the other from P to H, start simultaneously. After they meet, the trains reach their destinations after 9 hours and 16 hours respectively. Find the ratio of the speeds. Let us first of all draw a sort of a pictorial representation of what the question is trying to say. Let's say that this is my point H and this is my point P. So there are two trains starting from H and P and they start together at the same time. Let's say that the speed of the train starting from H is H kilometers per hour and the speed of the train starting from point P is P kilometers per hour. Once they have started, let's say that they meet at point O. This is our point O. Both the trains meet at point O. And then the train that started from point P, let me use some different color to show you actually what I'm talking about. So this train that started from point P and reached O, it then moved forward towards H and it covered this distance in 16 hours. And this train that started from point H after reaching O moved towards P and covered this distance in 9 hours. Let's say that this distance OH is D1. This is D1 kilometers and this distance is D2 kilometers. So find the ratio of this speeds. So we need H upon P. This is what we are looking for. Now let's see what all equations, what all things can we from, what all things can we write mathematically from the situation given here. So first of all, both the trains are meeting at point O. Both trains, both the trains are meeting at O. What does this mean? This means that whatever amount of time this train that started from H took, to reach O, same amount of time is taken by this train which started from P to reach point O. They have different speeds, they would cover different distances, but they have to travel for the same amount of time if they are meeting this O. So we can say that T1 equals to T2. Using the relation distance equals to speed into time, we can write time is distance upon speed. This means D1 upon speed of the train starting from H is H would be equal to D2 upon P. From here, we can write D1 upon D2 is H upon P. This is the first relation that we got from the given situation. Now, again, it says that the same train that started from P took 16 hours to reach H and the train that started from H took 9 hours to reach point P. So for this first situation, for this first situation here, we can say D distance is D1, time taken is 16 hours and speed would be, we are talking about the train which started from P. This train took 16 hours to reach H after they have met at point O. So we will take the speed P kilometers hour. So this speed will be P kilometers per hour. Similarly, if we'll talk about the second situation, from here I can write distance is D2 kilometers, time taken is 9 hours, and speed would be the speed of the train that started from H because that is that same train is traveling from O to P in 9 hours. So the speed will be H kilometers per hour. Let's see what we formulate, what can we achieve from both these situations that we have just written down. So distance is equal to speed into time. So D1 would be equal to 16P and from here D2 would be equal to 9H. Let's substitute D1 and D2 in this first ratio that we just obtained. So D1 is 16P and D2 is 9H and this is equal to H upon P. On cross multiplication we'll get h square upon p square, h square upon p square is 16 upon 9, which means taking square root principal square root on both the sides, we can write h upon p as 4 is to 3. 
this was the ratio that we were looking for that the ratio of the train speed of the train that started from h to the ratio of the speed of the train that started from p is 4 is to 3 